Hello everyone, this is Andreas Pop Culture Guy. Today is the latest Andreas Pop Culture vs. Spider Flash review. It is on Sleepy Hollow, the 1999 film uh, directed by Tim Burton, starring Johnny Depp, Christine Hia Ricci, uh, Christopher Walken, and uh, who else? Uh, oh, uh, Randa Richardson, Michael Gambon, Casper uh, Van Dien, and Jeffrey Jones. Now, if anyone doesn't know what the Sleepy Hollow, uh, Sleepy Hollow, uh, 1990 film, plus this is the 25th anniversary review, please watch the film first before I get into spoil summary. Now, the film takes place in the late 1700s in the New York, where Constable Ibrica Crane, a timid and but smart man played by Johnny Depp, is assigned to investigate a series of grisly murders in the nearby town called Sleepy Hollow. He's rather concerned about his latest t- uh, tax, however, due to the, con- the content of the killings, the victim's hands have been sliced in one clean swoop straight from their bodies. He accepts his duties and travels by horse and, ca- and carriage to this isolated village. Once Ebrokov arrives, the locals, including Lady Van uh, Trussell, uh, Van and, and, and husband uh, Bassels, and then Braun Van Brunt and Ver, uh, Reverend uh, Stanwyck greet him with eagerness. They explain the legend of the hailless horseman who is supposedly causing the murders in their town. At first he is um, skeptical. Then, after witnessing a victim losing their hand, personally, he arrives at the conclusion that the his, the headless headless horseman is responsible for the tragic uh, occurrence. So, Ibrigad soon meets uh, Katria, the daughter of the the wealthy couple uh, of the village, a innocent-looking, self-spoken young woman who may have some advice as well as several secrets of her own. There uh, have been other writing so that's the I say this uh sprint uh the somewhat overall story of the the sleep hole but there's a lot of twists and turns so let me get out of this the way I haven't I I was aware of the his headless horseman but I'm not familiar with the sleepy hole story in general there have been writings and other interpretations of the sleep of the story that focus more on the spectacle form of the headless horseman or crane in general as a protagonist but i believe this movie was done in the spirit of those other works and among and it is among the best i think it's one of the best tim burton films ever i think he really brings the horror aspect but the mystery uh who done it very well it brings to life the setting of this little valley and attempts to recreate the feeling that uh, Washington uh, Irvin, the, the the author of Sleepy Hollow, described it best in this story. It was int- indicated that the Sleepy Hollow was a magical and dreamlike place. Thus, the name Sleepy Hollow in this time ty- uh, in this little up- upstate valley, the strangest things occur, and such ghosts and goblins roam freely, if only in the midst of the inhabitants. In this case, Tim Burton managed to capture that. Sense, uh, he's a sensual and allows the audience to feel as if they sip into a theater, but another world. And speaking of Tim Burton, I think that Tim Burton's direction is really great here. He really focused and wonderfully uh, observant here in, in his this film. The murder sequence are great. They're gory and violent, uh, violent, but they're never, uh, they're never way over the top. Very control. Burton never loses sight of the, his main characters, which is good, because sometimes he does do that in some films, like Mars Attacks or Dark Shadows, but whatever. That was a good idea about what he wants to place in film, and the special effects do not distract his ability to do so. He has a knack for allowing an audience to become involved with his pictures. We must think for ourselves, figure out the nuggets of the plot of our own, without the, the projector's help. He has demonstrated these te- uh, techniques before in such films like Edward Citizens, The Nightmare for Christmas, and even Batman Returns. Another thing that works here is also the writer, Andrew Kerry Walker's, or, uh, yes, Andrew Kerry's, um writing and the transition of the story also makes it for a compelling film. With adding the murder mystery who done it really works to give it that updated um, sense in modern times, which is good. Allowing the changes for the film adaptation were a sign of genius. 
displacing the hero and using him to the sleeping hall after along with the irons, hence this experience, which is good. Giving a clear background for the horseman, which is only briefly provided in the original story. Here, this movie does a really good job of expanding that background of the horseman very well, and it's really good. Also, a improvement to the movie story, let's face it, if they made a 100... 50 minute movie that tried to replicate the original short story, there could have been a whole theater full of sleepy uh, patrons. So, thankfully, they expanded the story in, into a modern times, which they did successfully. And then, another great thing about this film, and I think that what really works is the acting. The actor is superb in this film. I mean, I had to give it to Johnny Depp and Christine Ritchie for their family's performance. They're the best thing about this cast, and they really give the film that really time period um, aesthetic and artisticity, which is great. And for the rest of the cast, they're fantastic. I mean, to see all these wonderful actors in the secondary roles was a treat. I mean, starting with Christopher Reeve as the chief captain in New York, pretty cool. Jeffrey Jones, Michael Goff, Ian uh, McDermott, and Michael uh, uh, Gammon, and then uh, Rand Richardson are, and are fantastic. I mean, even... Uh, Starship Troopers lead uh, Casper Fending all did a uh, magnificent job in their performances here. I think they really gave the film their all, which is great. So wrapping up this awesome, uh, how you say it, 25th anniversary, <laughs> sorry, review of Sleepy Hole. I think Sleepy Hole has to be one of the best horror movies that I've seen for a while of time. That was my, this year was my first time watching this film, and I think it did not disappoint. The story has bring uh, has a been brought life by an excellent camera work, mind-blowing cinematography to burn, thus another brilliant work directing this film, securing his spot as one of the best directors still in this present day of Hollywood. But also the visual effects are stunning, and the Dolby sound makes the regular cinema or feel like he's back into the mystery village of Sleepy Hollow. Plus, the music from Dale Effin is also fantastic. It's very soothing, and it sets the tone for the film very well. Other uh, visual credit that should be given to this film is the cinematographer uh, Emily Bexy. He did a really good job of photographing the film, plus the credit projector designer Rick Hankers did a really good job of um, building the world of Sleepy Hollow and creating the village very well to its senses. These elements contributed a great deal of success to Burton's masterpiece. Both the design and uh, cinematography are some of the best I've seen uh, in any horror film. And they definitely deserve the hard earned Oscar nomination. They make the film intriguing and visually uh, stimulating. And this is for, I recommend watching Sleepy Hollow. So, thank you everyone for uh, joining uh, my respective select review on Sleepy Hollow, the 1999 film, for its 25th anniversary. 25th anniversary. So, uh, there's going to be more Halloween reviews for the respective select review. Uh, but that, at this time, enjoy the Nightmare Elm Street. Respect slash review for your anniversary review, and of course this this is be horrible. the sleepy hotel twenty fifth anniversary review. Thank you guys. Have a good weekend. Ciao. Bye bye.